Hi neighbor, my name is Hannah and welcome back to my channel Pretty Hippie Me. My channel is about fashion, makeup, and life in general, so if you like those ideas and if you like this video, I hope that you subscribe to my channel and set your notifications to all so you can keep up with everything happening here in the neighborhood. Today we're doing another Disney bounding video. If you're not sure what Disney bounding is, I explained it more thoroughly in my previous video. I will link it above if you want a full explanation, but basically it's dressing up as your favorite Disney character when you go to a Disney park because adults aren't allowed to wear actual costumes. So the Disney bounding challenge from this video and the last one is to only pick stuff that I already have in my closet because we're social distancing, I'm not going shopping. So today's character is Snow White. It's always fun to do a classic Disney character like Snow White because she's so iconic and recognizable. I like her personality, she's just very sweet and trusting, even though at times uh, that goes against her, obviously. So I have a couple different options actually for my Snow White Disney Bound, and I'd love your opinion on which one you think is better. So when you finish watching the video, please let me know in the comments below which version of the outfit you think is a better Snow White Disney Bound. Alright, let's get into the outfit options. The first piece in my Snow White Disney Bound is going to be this sparkly navy blue short sleeve crop top. It's a vintage top and it's not supposed to be cropped, but I wear it as a crop top and I think it's really cute as a crop top. I like the dark blue color. I think that it resembles the bodice of Snow White's dress. I like the fact that it's short sleeved, just like Snow White's dress. And I like that there's a little bit of sparkle because her outfit contains some white elements that I don't really have pieces for, but can kind of be shown in the reflectiveness of this top. Okay, so this is where the options in my outfit come into play. The first option is this light yellow floral vintage skirt with pockets. I like it because it's flowy, it's calf length, it's comfortable, it hits me at the smallest point of my waist, all of these other things that really speak to my personal style. And it's in the color palette of Snow White, even though it's not as vibrant of a yellow as her skirt is. It makes me feel a little bit more foresty and time period than my second option. I guess I feel more like Snow White when I'm wearing it. It's fun, it's cute, but let me show you number two. The second option is these wide leg paper bag waist pants, which I really enjoy. I love the flowy wide leg, I like the pockets, I like the elastic waist. The only issue that I have with these pants is they're a little bit tight. They need to be worn for a couple of hours before they stretch out enough to be fully comfortable. So at the beginning of my day, I would be a little bit uncomfortable wearing these pants compared to the skirt. But the color is much more on point for Snow White. The other issue with these pants is the fact that they don't quite come up high enough to meet my crop top, so I keep feeling like I need to pull my top down to cover that little tiny sliver of skin because it's not really a flattering piece of skin to be showing. <laughs> it's just this little pudge. So it seems like with this Disney bound, I need to choose between comfort all day with the first option or looking more like Snow White and becoming more comfortable throughout the day. That's why I'm asking for advice in making this decision. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Snow White's costume also has a few different red elements. So whichever bottoms I end up going with, skirt or pants, I would choose this necklace as a way of getting that red into my outfit. Now it's time for me to do some Snow White inspired makeup and hair. I'm going to be inspired by this image here, which pretty clearly shows she has a purple eyeshadow, a very blushed face, and a bright red lip that matches her headband. She has defined mascara as well. So these are the inspiration points I'm going to be drawing from as I make my makeup look. I'm going with a purple eyeshadow as close as I can get to the color in this frame. I'm putting extra blush on my face because Snow White is wearing a lot. And I'm going to use Fred, the red cream lipstick from Sophia Nygaard's collaboration with ColourPop Cosmetics to give the vibrant red look that Snow White has in this image. For my hair, I have a red cloth headband that I'm going to use. It also appears that Snow White's hair is pinned up in the back. I will try my best at this, but I can make no promises that it would hold all day because my hair is very heavy. <laughs> One last thing, I forgot to show you my shoes before. The movie shows Snow White wearing these little gold shoes with a bow on them. I don't have anything like that at all. But what my closet does have is these nude 
flats from Target. When I can't find exactly what I'm looking for, I think these are a good kind of go-to shoe. This is what I'll be wearing with my outfit, no matter which skirt or pants I end up going with. Now let's see the completed Disney bound looks from head to toe. Okay, so those are my Disney bounding outfits as Snow White. This was so much fun to do, and I think it came out really well. I'm really happy with how my hair and makeup looks, especially from the front. The back is a little messy, but that's just what happens. I think that I like both of the two outfit options for different reasons, so I'm really interested to hear what you have to say. Please let me know in the comments below which one is a better Snow White Disney bound. On first glance, which one is like, oh, she's being Snow White. <laughs> I feel like this one came out better than my previous Disney Disney bound and it inspires and encourages me to do more of these. So if you like this video, if you like the idea of getting Disney bounds out of your closet without having to shop for more stuff, I hope that you do something like this. It's a great stay at home social distancing activity. Please tag me on Instagram and any looks that you make because I'd love to see what you're all up to and what characters you can find in your closet. I hope this video was fun and a little inspiring, a little creative. Please let me know all of your thoughts and reactions in the comments below, and while you're there commenting, I hope that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and set your notifications to all. The little neighborhood here on my channel is growing, so I look forward to getting to know all the new people subscribing and joining the neighborhood. I also plan to post more of these Disney bound outfits, so if you find this interesting, there will be more. Stick around. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. So much love. Bye.